If you're seeking Trump, check out Tutrit. Hey, so it's Truth with Bruce. I don't know what happened. I accidentally ended the video, but as I was saying, so my mom had. So as I was saying, I was talking about childhood memories. In case you don't know, and I was saying that what my worst childhood memory is. This. So my mom, I stayed home from school one day when I was four years old because I was going to preschool, and so my mom. Let me stay home from school because I had a snotty nose and I had a cold and I was coughing constantly. It was really stuffy and so nobody knew. No, she didn't know. She didn't want anybody to get sick. But she, it was a rare thing. I was in fast to car and we went to Shook. And so she still used to, so it, she said it was going to be a long trip to the grocery store. She had to buy all this stuff for an entire week. And um... So I have a memory, she was like, okay, Ruth, as she was putting me in the car and buckling me up, she said, today's gonna be a long day. We had to go grocery store. And I was like, okay. And she was like, I have to shop for a whole week, so probably gonna be an hour. And so, um, and so I knew that, that, that I don't like those days because it took a while time, a long time. And then I fell asleep in a busty car because I was so tired because I was so sick and snotty and stuffy and coughing and so I just wanted to sleep and that's why I stayed home from school. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that was very bad manners of me. I ate a lot of fruit snacks and beef roll really. Well, not sort of too. Anywho, as I was saying, so we went to Snooks, which is like a 15 minute drive, which is from our house and it's funny to have other changes. And um, when we got there, my mom saw her best friend in the parking lot. Got so excited, forgot I was in the back of the car because I was sleeping. Slams the door and locks it. I woke up from the slam and a little beep that makes a lot of beep. And then, so, and there she goes, running away over to her friend that is like a good two yards away from our car. There she goes, two yards away from her car. Oh, Sally! And then, so they talk for a good 50 minutes. She finally goes in there. And it was winter, which is better than if it was summer because, well, I think I would have died. But it was winter, and I only had, my mom doesn't let me wear coats in the car because she saw that the commercial that shows like, if you're a baby, wear your coat, you stand on the brakes, they're gonna slide right out of the coat. The only the coat will be left. And so she only lets me wear thin, thin, skin tight jackets in the car. Cause I, she didn't want poor Ruth to die. But I almost did in this situation. Because, um, well as you know, being in a car will make a child have panic attack. And being in a car when it's cold in winter with only a thin skin tight jacket will make you cold. So, and the heat wasn't on anymore. And I, and she was in there for a solid hour. Water stuff. This is so cool. This is like my experience at boot camp. They had to walk up the current instead of down. <laughs> as, I, as I was saying, was just that wow. And so my mom talked to her friend for 15 minutes, and cars have thick glass, and she was already two yards away, being so excited and talking like. Daddy, ooh, I haven't seen you in a really long time. Because they hadn't seen each other in a really long time. It would be like two months because of their busy, their busy, their, their, their busy schedule, schedules. And so she was very excited to see her best friend Sally. If you didn't know, my mom's name is Susie, so they're like Susie and Sally, it's really quite funny. <laughs> this is both me. But um, as I was saying, um, so yeah, so then she took a long time because her and, and, and oh, and as I was saying, I was screaming. I was like, "Mom!" This is probably what my voice sounded like because I hadn't gone through puberty. Mom! Mom! My voice is still high. One time, I people always really offend me because they say, like one time I was actually making a video.
And somebody started talking to me that was in the military and he was saying, oh, wait, I don't know how he was communicating with me. Oh, it's because I was in the army. I know. This was in the army and we had headsets on. I think. I don't know, but he offended me because he said, uh uh, no point for you, boy. He stops like that. You must be a girl or you must be 11. And I got really offended. And I got really offended because I'm not a girl and I'm not a little child. He actually didn't use the exact word 11, but he was basically saying, you must be little. And offend me deeply. So you, Mr. Darkface. I am 24 years old and I have a high-pitched voice. And then I, I, I talk, talk to him because he would be me. Anywho, I have a really high-pitched voice when I was little. And I was a late puberty -er, so I had a high voice until I was 13. I literally probably talk like this. Like, I have, I have a really high voice. I don't know if you guys did, but I certainly did. That's kind of how I talked. I kind of sounded like Marcelo Shell. Well, actually, Marcelo Shell is a really deep voice. But as I was saying, so my mom was in the store for an hour, and here comes the worst part. A person that was shady looking, and turns out to be shady if you look in the story, came up to my car. I was awake because we could fall asleep when we have a pan tap. And I saw him peek into the window wearing all black. I don't know why he was wearing black in the daytime, he wore blue. He went all black, peeked into the window. And he saw a little baby, and then he took a rock and smashed the window open. And then my mom, and then I realized that was good, because he was gonna get me out. And But then, but my mom, I thought that he, since he was wearing black, so he actually doesn't turn out to be Sadie, just listen. My mom, it turns out that my mom thinks he's Sadie, because, so he's wearing all black, has a rock, and smashes the window open, right as she gets close enough to the car to be able to see the back window where I was, and then she yells, and the car alarm starts going off, and she gets so angry that she calls the cops, and sits on him for a citizen's arrest. And she goes, how dare you? And she still forgot that I was in the car. And, and so I was in the car and she, and he, she was trying, he was trying to explain what he was doing, but she was so mad. She goes, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. And then she sat on him for a citizen arrest I didn't try to get away because I know that he didn't do anything wrong. But then, um, but then, um, so, so, um, what's I gonna say? Look at that lake. Oh, really nice lake. But then, so anyway, um, so she's sitting home, calling a cop, meanwhile he's like, but you don't understand. She's cutting him off every time he tries to say it because she thinks that he's just a regular old bad guy who's just trying to make him excuses. Because he really did look like a bad guy. He was wearing all black with a rock that smashed our window in. And I was crying and trying to yell, and I was just yelling, Mommy, and I was crying and stuff. And then she was like, who the hell's baby is that? And she got so mad, and she went over to the lady next to us in her car who had a baby that was also crying, who was covering up my words, who was also crying, and she thought that he was extra loud because she still didn't know I was in the car, goes up to the lady and punches her in the face. And she was so gosh darn mad. And she said, if you don't shut up that baby, I'm gonna slap you silly. 